KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Another extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 2nd of July. I'm James Spann. Showers fairly hard to find over the northern half of the state today. We think they will be increasing in number for the next few days, but still random and scattered. Here's the upper air look, and you know this story. Summertime across North America, the main westerlies over the northern United States and Canada. Got a flat ridge down here across the deep south, a little weakness in Texas. And again, most of Alabama with a good supply of sunshine today. The bigger storms you can see are down to the south, generally along and south of US-84. That was the radar at uh, 235. Had a few showers over Clay County, but again, most of the showers down to the south. But we think the air aloft will be a little colder tomorrow, the air a little more unstable, opening the door for an increase in showers again. And it's hot, you know that. It's July in Alabama, mostly low 90s. 93 for Muscle Shoals, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa. Hot spot in Montgomery, the Gump at 96. Around the nation, coolest air back in Montana. They're in the 50s and 60s there, like fall, but for most locations. A lot of 80s and 90s on the board. There's a watch warning map around the nation today. Heat advisories for a small chunk of Indiana and Ohio. A couple of pockets with flash flood warnings, but otherwise things are awfully quiet. Severe storms possible through tonight up north. With a better jet stream dynamics down here, we don't expect any organized severe weather. Tomorrow, marginal risks north and east of the state. And day three, Thursday, the 4th of July, a marginal risk over the high plains. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west is dry. And uh, around here, we'll have numbers all over the board. Some locations might see an inch of rain in 30 minutes, others with nothing on any given day. Uh, but you know the deal. We'll have the risk of the scattered storms around every afternoon for the foreseeable future. Atlantic Basin, quiet as a mouse. No tropical worries if you're beachbound for the weekend. But over in the Pacific, we have Hurricane Barbara, now a major hurricane with top winds at 130 miles an hour. Far from land, well to the west of Mexico. This will be weakening later this weekend over the weekend as it gains latitude. And uh, could be a tropical storm by Sunday. We'll keep an eye on that as it gets closer to Hawaii. But for now, we don't expect that to be a major player there. So, model fans, let's roll with it. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4 local time. Trough in the northwest United States. And for us, again, the air should be a little more unstable. So, uh, we think we'll see an increase in the number of showers and storms in scattered spots. And again, most of them coming between 1 and 9 p.m. Highs 89 to 92. Thursday, 4th of July, same thing. Highs up around 90. Most of the storms should be over by fireworks time at 9 o'clock. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. And then no change for the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Partly sunny, hot, humid days. Scattered afternoon and evening storms. Always the chance of a late night or morning uh, little rogue shower somewhere. Highs for the weekend mostly in the low 90s. Same thing Monday. And a week from today, Tuesday the 9th. Core of the westerlies to stay up north. That looks pretty moist. Uh, that would be numerous storms by chance this verifies. But understand uh, the little mesoscale features that determine the variability and the coverage and the placement of storms. The synoptic models can't handle that seven days in advance. It's out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 12th. Got broad troughing over the southeast if this is right. And it's got a surface low here, but I wouldn't be shocked if this feature vanishes on the next run. This is out 10 days. Uh, rain, again, the ensemble output, uh, th this is a graphic that's probably not that useful this time of the year because of the great variation in rain because of the scattered nature of the storms. But most locations ought to see well over an inch over the next 15 days. Some folks may be getting more than that for sure. And highs, mostly 90 to 95, lows mostly in the low 70s for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.